What's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Um, we're at it again doing stuff on the race car and well I uh, I started with something that's not wasn't absolutely critical but uh, it's gonna help out with moving the car around. So uh, last week we went and had these old tires that I had kicking around uh, mounted up on these wheels so that we could use them as rollers in the shop until I figure out what we're actually gonna run on the car. And uh, I discovered today that uh, one of the wheels had a crack in it. And to back up a little bit, last weekend I noticed that this left rear, or the one I put on the, or not left rear, the one I put on the right rear wasn't holding air. And I assumed it was an issue with the tire because these tires are probably, they're at least 10 years old because that's how long I've had them. Um, and they were used when I got them. And if I date go to them, they're probably a lot older than I think. But they're perfect for shop rollers, right? So I had them mounted up, but this one wasn't holding there. So we busted out the, uh, the good old squirt bottle and water and looked for a hole in the tire that I was gonna try and do some sort of patch so it would hold air. And only discovered that the wheel was actually cracked. Um, had about a two and a half inch long crack on the inside of it. So I took my very novice amateur skills with uh, my TIG welder that my wife so awesomely got me a couple years ago and I just got running last weekend. Um, and again, very amateur, like first time ever TIG welding was last weekend. And I was like, well, screw it. You know what? I've got a TIG welder, so I might as well try and weld the aluminum because that's something you can do with one of these machines and uh, see how it goes. It's not like I was gonna make the wheel any worse or already didn't hold air. Um, and you know what? I'm not disappointed. Uh, take, go ahead and take a look right here. This is uh, my patch job. You can see I've got about a two and a half inches worth of weld where I had a crack in there. And if I, uh, I've got about 40 PSI on the tire now. And if I hit that with soapy water, we are no longer leaking. It's holding air where it was cracked. So. For the first time ever welding aluminum, and the, uh, only the second time I've ever uh, run my TIG machine, much less a TIG machine at all, I'm pretty happy with that result on aluminum. And then uh, what made it a little more interesting is I didn't have any aluminum actual uh, TIG filler wire, but I did have some uh, spool of aluminum wire for a MIG machine which I can't use on my MIG machine because it's a flux only machine. I'm not even sure where this wire came from. Way to poke uh, yourself in the face. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, but so yeah, I was using this really thin like 030 aluminum uh, MIG wire as my filler, which that was extremely challenging to try and feed in there. But we got it to work. Uh, the patch on the wheel is holding the air and our, uh, our roller is gonna be a, a perfectly good roller now for the shop. Now. Don't get overly excited, guys. I know there's some critics out there that are gonna be, you know, jumping all over me about doing that sort of repair on a wheel. I'm not gonna be driving on this. This is not a wheel I'm gonna take on the road. This is a shock roller. Everybody got it? All right, good. Anyway, um, so the plan for today, I'll end up getting put back on the car, is, uh, well, I got some stuff from one of my favorite places to get stuff. Speedway and I need to grab it because it's still up at the house where the UPS guy or FedEx guy or USPS whoever it was whoever delivered it um, It's up in the other garage. So I got to go get that but we're gonna uh, We're gonna do front brakes and get brakes onto this thing and uh, We'll see where we go from there But yeah, we're working on the race car. We're gonna get some more work done on it. Uh, keep chipping away and being prepared for no-name nationals, which, do you know how many days we have? She's counting, counting, fingers. I think, I think 112. 112. I think. Oh, we'll have to see. We'll, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to I'll, that. I'll make her update the board as soon as we get the car out of the way. Anyway, we'll be right back with you to uh, get started on uh, some of the work that actually makes the car better instead of just the patchwork on our shop roll. Yeah. All right, the, uh, the car's ready, out in the middle. And uh, you ready to cut into the boxes, find out what we got? Ready. 
Right then. Ready, Freddy. Start opening them up. Let's see what we got. Um, basically, uh, Visa, I owe you one. We put it that way. <laughs> no, no. We'll put, it, we'll put an I. We'll send the IOU in an envelope. No. Um, they, it'll they, be in the mail on Monday. They got you. They got you. They were like, oh, oh, you like spending money? Let's up your, let's up your limit. Well, up your limit so you can spend they, as much money as you want so you go into debt with they, us. They kind of did do that too. Visa's like, uh, oh, you're building a race car? Hold uh, on. Let's make that easy for you. Right. Yeah, that happened. And Memorial and the Memorial Day weekend sales happened. Yeah. And, uh, well, we got boxes. Yeah. And you went okay. on a spending spree. It's okay because... Spending spree! It's okay because race car. Race car. What's that? You know what that is? This is most likely the, um... It's a drag one. I was gonna say something! My gosh! Let me think! <laughs> the, uh... The drag link that we need to go from the Pitman arm down to the uh, steering arm and the axle. We might get that installed today. That's not at the top of the list, but we will be working in that area, so good chance we'll get there. Um, let me see that one. What's that? For me, cancer. Oh. Again, courtesy of the state of California. These items. Yeah, well, they cause cancer and reproductive harm. Just so you know, race car parts cause cancer and reproductive harm. Thank you, state of California. That way we don't have to. I, well, only in the state of California does that happen. If you're not in the state of California, that doesn't apply. So this guy, well, we'll talk more about this when I get there, but uh, if you hadn't guessed, that's a transmission cross member. And uh, yeah, we won't be getting to that today. That's, uh, that'll be a different day. Holy cow. You're supposed to open these like piston opens preston, presents on Christmas. Maybe you need to get piston down here. No, because he'd destroy the parts too. Uh, right, well, we got there. Yeah, I just want to see the end. Um, uh, this is brake related. We need this. This is probably our brake shoes. Need that. Ah, the heavy boxes. Ooh, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Goodies! Yay! Well, I mean, Speedway did pack it good. They're actually, their packing's been pretty good on most of the stuff I've gotten from them. Uh, brake parts, brake lines, dust caps, good stuff. Um, these are, oh, Bearing seals and bearings for the new rotors. Nice. Yep, that's good stuff. Ah, brake calipers. Okay. Heavy. So we need this whole, we're going to probably need everything in this box. Oh, that box is broken. What? Well, it's just a brake caliper. It's probably fine. What's that one? That one is, uh... oh, this one's brake pads. So I don't know what's in that other one. What's in that? Ah, that's that's the uh, steering gearbox. We may or may not get to that today either, but we at least we have it now. And one more box. One more box. This one's probably got the rotors in it. It's probably why this box is heavy. Oh my goodness. You? YouTube's getting bored. Shut your mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's our brake rotor. That should be all within that box. So yeah, we got. I got went out to uh, Speedway and got a full uh, brake kit for. Whew, there's a lot of stuff on there. There's a there's a lot of line items on there, um, and uh, it's a full brake kit for the 49 to 54 Chevy spindles which includes rotors, calipers, pads, lines, bearings, the full works so that we can have fresh, new, good brakes on here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get that installed. Oh, I think I went to the, to the upgrade too. I don't think I went with the basic kit. 
I think I upgraded. I, if I remember right, I upgraded. I think those are drilled and slotted rotors. Yeah, you, you think? I, I think so, because I think that's what was on sale. Are you drilled and slotted? Uh, yes, we did. I upgraded to drilled and slotted rotors. Cool, so we actually are putting performance brakes, performance 11 inch brakes on here. Unfortunately, they're not the fancy lightweight Willwood stuff, but they are better than uh, basic OEM stuff. So I uh, get the, the wheels off the car, we'll finish getting the stuff unpacked and ready and we'll start getting it installed and we'll have proper brakes on the car here shortly. All right, um, she's gonna put together the brakes. I'm gonna coach you through it. Okay. It's gonna be a piece of cake, promise. Uh, but before, I already went through and uh, packed the bearings with grease. Uh, I wanted to do that before I started handling the camera so that I wouldn't get grease all over it because the camera and grease don't exactly get along, I don't think. Anyway, um, first thing we need to do is we need to seat the, the uh, seal on there. So I'm, I'll go ahead and do that real quick so that we're good. And you don't want me to do that in your lap, I promise. Um, these rotors that came with this kit, come off of there. Uh, I just greasy it up my hand, nice. Uh, the rotors that came with this kit are, had the bearing races, so I grabbed that, um, already installed, which is extremely convenient because bearing races are kind of a pain in the neck to put in and, and take out. So it's nice that those were already in, but the bearings weren't greased and the seals weren't in. So we gotta do that. Uh, ideally, you wanna set the seal nice and even all the way around the rotor, which is easiest done with something that's about the same size as the seal to push it in. I didn't look very hard, but I didn't find anything that uh, had a similar size to it. Just doing a quick look around the shop. So we're gonna do it the way you probably should do it, which is just kind of work it around until it goes. There we go. What's the worst that's going to happen? It's not going to be a perfect seal. It's just got to try and keep dust out, right? I think that should be about it. That'll do. Um, don't forget when you go to put that seal in to uh, put the rear bearing in first because if you don't, then you're gonna have to rip the seal back out and you'll probably ruin it in the process. All right, uh, you ready to start putting this together? Sure. All right. So, um, the instructions, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna look at the pictures. Uh, bearing races in, bearings in, seals in. Oh, before we put it on the spindle, you need to put the brake caliper bracket onto the spindle. That's going to be that shiny piece right there. And it came with bolts. The bolts that you took out are not the bolts we're going to put back in. We're going to use these bolts. We need two of these. Uh, why are they different? Why are they different? Um, long one goes on the bottom. Okay. The, the, the double hole goes down. Nope. The, nope, 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 crazy, 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 crazy. This. Well, like this. you're supposed to be coaching me. I am. You were trying to do something crazy. You need the long one. Long one goes on the bottom. I can't see your fingers are in the way. In which hole? The one that lines up. Line up the top hole. Which part? Wow. Don't wow You're me. Bad teacher. I'm not a bad teacher. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I needed to say that. Alright. Uh, just put those on loose for now so it doesn't fall off. Nope, turn around. Yep. So the the nuts that came with this kit 
are uh, the, uh, it's a type of lock nut. I don't know what the special name is for this type of lock nut, but it is a type of lock nut um, and they are fine thread, which, you know, being brake parts, does a good thing. All right, now that goes back on, on the bottom the way we had it. Down here. Yep. Do, how can I, are these, are these put the holes right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yep. Which one do, uh, I'm using those ones? You, this, will, this will go on the front. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're learning. That's what we're doing. We're learning how to build uh, straight axle disc brakes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've never done this before. And you're teaching me? Exactly. Oh, my God. Everybody pray. When this, when this car falls apart on the driver's side, we'll know why. What? You're the one putting it together. Okay, they're loosely on. All right. Um, then next is going to be this guy. And that should go all the way back. Go all the way back. Is that open? Is it not open? Nope. Keep going. There you go. A little more. It's, not. it's almost there. <laughs> no, but it's not going. Well, here. Take that for a second. You're, you're still recording. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that's all, that's all the way back. Well, you said keep going, and I was trying all the way back okay now you need to put the foot bearing in okay Ugh. that's probably some weird angle footage <laughs> probably all right so you need that bearing yep get your hands all greasy and then you're gonna need that guy And then you need that guy. Yep, yep. So this this setup did come with these um, spindle shims. If I'm not mistaken, these are for use on um, like a Ford spindle or a either a Ford spindle or a non-modified. Uh, 49 to 54 Chevy spindle. It's one or the other. Uh, basically, the the spindles we have are the ones are the ones that Speedway remakes. Um, it's a new version, and the spindle shaft itself is actually designed to accept the bearings for the late model brakes. But if you have, uh, I think it's a Ford spindle, you have to put this guy in there in order for the brakes to work. But we aren't going to need those because our setups are already designed to accept these brakes. Can we have tightened up the screws before we put this on? Can you still get to them? Yeah. Well, then you, then we can still tighten them up. Okay. We want to make sure everything lines up before you tighten it all the way. He's doing this. You but told me this. You said no. I didn't say anything about this one. I said put yeah. this one on. Go. Just go ahead and snug it. We'll have to seat the bearings, but we'll come back. To, come back and do that. Run it snug for now. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. See, this is what happens when you complain that I don't let you help. Now, yeah, you finally let me do stuff. Yeah, I'm letting you work on the most important part of this car. The brakes. I do brake things. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we're not going to put the pin in right now. We got to We still got to seat the bearings. So now you get to do the caliper. 
and with the caliper these calipers um i don't know what brand it, it looks like a a generic brand caliper from speedway but it does have a huge piston in there um, big single piston should give us a lot of good braking power on this um, they are also marked you can see there's a little l on there they're marked left and right and that marking is correct as long as you're mounting these to the rear side of the spindle there because you want that uh, the bleeder up at the top not at the bottom but if you were doing front side mounts um, which is something that can be done then you would uh why are you leaking it i told you it's leak it's leaking motor oil it's one of the things we got to fix so um but yeah just always make sure your bleeders are at the top and you need both of these right right yep Yep, yep. And the, the diagram that comes with this is actually not terrible. It's, it's useful and it does come with a bunch of words for uh, instructions, but eh, whatever. Okay. Now you're gonna take that and you're going to uh, hold it up. No, no, this goes that way. Why would you put that on the outside? Not in the picture. That's for the other side. No, why put on the picture? Then you're gonna build it wrong because the picture is the right side, not the left. Did it right. go on? It goes on the back. Back. Yep. Does it fit in there? Yep. Okay. So before you bolt that up, let's go ahead and snug. We gotta tighten that up because you won't be able to get to those lumps of calipers on. You have the right size wrench. You need more wrenches? Yeah, I need, I need, I need a five-eighths. Five-eighths? Yeah. No, I need another 11 sixteenths. 11 sixteenths. Right. No. What? What do you mean no? Maybe I don't know. What do you mean no? Just give me a second. No, that's too big. I can tell from here. Yeah. Right. So I need. I need a. Aye. I need a five eight. I need a five eight. Yep. This is. This is what we're doing. Shut up. No, don't use the box in. I can do whatever I want. Why are you taking the nut off? Hmm. They want to know. What are we doing here? Uh, I'm tightening my nuts. One more time? <laughs> I'm tightening my nuts. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a YouTube story. Well, they're sword. technically yours. That's a... a <laughs> you're tightening my nuts? Yeah, I'm tightening your nuts. <laughs> But technically, your nuts are my nuts. So. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a, a YouTube short that goes viral on a certain of it. What's, what's, going, what's going on? And tarnation. This is just one bolt. We still got another one to do. <laughs> It's in my bad finger. I'm blaming it on my finger. These are very tight to put on. They're supposed to be. It's a lock nut. Well. All right. We will be back in. <gasps> oh, be quiet. <laughs> I'm <laughs> almost there. You still have to do the bottom one. I'm get... Well, if you would have let me tighten them then when I said, should I tighten them? Oh, can you get to them? No, we had to make sure it was going to fit first. All oh. right. We will be back in a few moments once these are all tightened up. All right. All right. I got your nuts tight. Really? All right, get in there. You gotta get that brake caliper on there now. Those go in from the back. Nice. 
actually, before you slide that in there. Line, it forget. doesn't line up. What? Doesn't line up. What do you mean it doesn't line up? Doesn't line up. You can't see your head in the way. Is the L supposed to be upside down? No. It lines up fine. Oh, before that goes in there, you gotta put the brake pads in. Well, what the heck? We'll put the brake pads in. That, that's got to come back out. Alright, this pad goes in the back. No, in there. In the, in the caliper. Yep. And this one will go in the front. No, no, it doesn't go that way. That nope. lips are putting... Goes the other way. Okay. Figure it out. Like that. And, um, oh, there you go. You need that piece, but there's only one. Is there another bag like this? Right there? That nope. black piece? Nope, that ain't it. Are they missing bits? Oh no. What came in the bag? Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, oh. there's the other one. Okay. Got it. That one's for that side. Okay. So you need to open that up. You need that black piece out of there. And that, if you look, and I'll show you the picture. If you look right there, you see how it snaps onto the brake pad? That little black piece right there. On the inner one? Yep. And then it's gonna, that's what's gonna hold it into the uh, cylinder that pushes on the brake pad. So you gotta take the pad out. No, other like side. That? Other side. The other, no, other back side. Like that? Mm -hmm. Does it snap in like that or does it snap nope. in up? Oh, I, I, I was going to do that. I was asking. My gosh. See, people, this is why I don't do things for him. There you go. Now you can put the brake caliper in. Let's see how talented you are. Can you get it all in there? Come on. Shut your mouth, mister. It's only the brakes. There you go. Right. Get me. Oh, thank you. Black piece. Oh, well. You didn't snap it on correctly. Oh, it was snapped on correctly. You didn't put it in on the uh, bracket correctly. Uh, take two. Bracket. Okay. Get the uh, the other pin started. Yeah. Open this one real quick so I can get you the right tool. That'll stay. Open that real quick and I'll. I open one. that one real quick so I can get you the right tool while you're getting the other pin in. My goodness. <laughs> so these are Allen Drive. So we got to get into the, uh, the toolbox and get the right 
Yeah, that's what we want. Oh my oh. goodness! <laughs> Don't worry, it's just the brakes. You'll get there. Why are you going the wrong way? I'm not going the wrong yes, way. Yes, you are. Now you're going the right way. <laughs> this is not good. Shut up! Guys, I need you to understand. This is my this is my life that we're taking into her hands with the brakes. How are these supposed to? How are these supposed to get tight? I don't understand. This is not making any sense to me. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. You need me to do it? This does not screw in. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. There's no screwing in. All right, here, take the camera. Get out of my way. No, this is my job. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. You're going the wrong way. I was going the right way, and, and it not it not getting tight. See? Mm -hmm. Woo! Because you don't have to pin it all the way. It won't go in anymore. Uh, so. Was it uh, my fault? Yes, 100%. <gasps> it was not. 100%. Um, these calipers come with a bushing in them, and I believe it's for a different style of pin. Uh, these pins have a smooth round head on them that is uh, the same size as the bushing. So if you don't take these bushings out, the pins won't go in all the way. But with the bushings out of the way, the pins will go in all the way. And then, now you can tighten them up. Yeah, now get out of my way. Oh, don't talk to me like that. I fixed your problem. You set me up for failure. That's I what you did. I did no such you thing. You set me up for failure. No, I didn't. You set me up for failure, and then you blame me on camera. I didn't blame you. It's a simple fact. You couldn't get it the pin in. How far do I go? Until it gets tight. Unless you want the brakes to fall apart. I mean, you're driving it. So guys, listen. When the brakes fall apart and the car doesn't stop. Only this the is, left side. This is why. If the right side falls apart, it's your fault. Yeah, because I'm putting the right side together. I can't lose both brakes. But even then. If one side falls apart and I hit the brakes, the car's gonna make a hard right-hand turn. And there ain't a whole lot of room okay. on a racetrack for it's hard okay. brakes. When I when we put my race car together, everything will be perfect. Yeah. Cause Next. I'll have, cause, cause I'll do it. Next. All right. Uh, the next thing that we would do, which I'm not gonna do today because I gotta figure out how exactly I'm gonna run the lines, is you would hook up. The, the soft line, which would go to the caliper, and then it did come with uh, brackets for connecting the soft line, which will probably go from the caliper up to the frame. I'll have to drill a hole and mount that in the frame. Uh, not exactly sure how that's gonna go yet or where I'm gonna run that line, which is why we're not gonna do that today, or at least not right now. So that's... Uh, that's about it. The only thing other than that remaining on this side is to seat the bearings. And uh, I'm not going to give you a tutorial on that. If you want to know how to seat bearings, there's probably lots of tutorials out that on there on that. It has to do with tightening it up and then backing it loose a little bit and then putting the pin in. But if you want more detailed information, just Google how to seat bearings. So that's it for this side. 
uh, we need to move over and put the other side together. Once the other side's together, we can put the steering box in and we should be able to put the drag link in and the front end will be mostly all connected up. What? So, yeah. And we figured out how many days. I was only a day off. How many is it? One, one, one. We have 111 days left. 111 days. So how many work days do we have? Oh, cheese and crackers. Well, I'll have her figure that out while I get the other side put together. Uh, so at least I have 50% safe braking power. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we'll be back uh, shortly for the next part of this whole fiasco. <laughs>